are going to make a vegetable snack, which is a vegan dish. Uh, me and my husband have started a wildly successful podcast. And from that, we've got a lot of inquiries about recipes and I'm super good at that. So I'm going to tell you about some recipes, starting with this vegetable snack that has polenta and eggplant and squash and onions and tomatoes and it's topped off with a balsamic glaze. Sounds very elegant, but it's actually really not. So to start, we are going to get our eggplant and onions in the oven and squash in the oven. Um, I've set my oven at 400 degrees because I make everything at that because 350 is too, it's too little for me. So eggplant. Um, eggplant, sometimes you'll see people um, put them on a baking sheet and then throw salt on them to get the water out of that. Uh, we don't need to do that. You can. It would make them not as, uh, what's the word? Makes them more tender, I guess. I don't mind that my baking sheets are disgusting. That's, that's like a sign of a good baker. Your baking sheets should have some battle wounds on them. All right, so line a baking sheet with your eggplant. We're gonna throw some salt on them now. Don't mind the amount of salt. Some people get scared of salt. The more salt you put in, salt brings out flavor. It pulls uh, liquids out of whatever you put salt on. So when you do that, it caramelizes the inside. Um, and that's why we put salt on our food. Uh, don't ever be scared to put salt on your food that you're making that's of like, uh, you know, vegetables or whatever. Salt intake comes from your processed food, so whatever. Uh, and then our squash, so we'll cut this up. So, got our squash and eggplant getting on our baking sheet. Cut up our onions. into the oven, uh, some salt and pepper. Don't be shy with your olive oil. Some people say it's bad for you, it's not. In moderation, I guess I should say that. Um, some salt. And some pepper. Into the oven they go. Um, I'd say maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not really a time that you can say for sure. You just gotta look at them. They're browned. They look like they're a little bit caramelized. That's when they're done. All right, uh, next one is let's make some white bean puree. So beans are the most amazing food. They have every bit of protein in them and they're cheap. Uh, they're readily available at every grocery store. If you're a vegan and you don't like beans, you gotta get used to beans. Um, you always wanna make sure you drain your beans because they sit in this sodium. So beans, beans, the magical fruit. Uh, the more you eat, the more you chew it. It's actually because of this nasty liquid they're sitting in, you see that? That's not what you wanna eat. So you should always drain them, give them a good wash, Okay, we're putting our beans in the blender, which is right behind me. I like that. Okay, what else goes in there? So if we're making this, would be like a bean hummus of sorts, but with white beans instead of chickpeas. So we have tahini. If you've never had tahini before, this is sesame seeds ground up, and it's what they use in hummus. Okay, so let's put like, I don't know, like two tablespoons worth that was probably two tablespoons worth. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at my portion size because, oh, I shouldn't do that, I should be hygienic. Um, Cause I've never, I don't really use recipes that much, but I'm going to start trying uh, to write all this down pretty diligently. So we had a can of white beans, two tablespoons of tahini. Let's throw in some garlic. Three cloves of garlic. Oh, you want to smash some garlic? Take it, the back of your knife. Bam, the, the paper comes off. 
garlic comes out as so. This is one clove of garlic, ready to go. Uh, we don't need to chop it up because it's going in a blender. What else do we want to put in there? Let's put some olive oil, like a, I don't know, two tablespoons? I think I just, two tablespoons of everything. Um, let's throw in some red wine vinegar. So let's do like, a, let's do one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. A splash, if you will. Some salt. Don't be shy. And some pepper. I got this pepper today and it doesn't produce a lot of pepper. You really have to grind it. Okay. Um, let's put some oregano in there. Oregano is actually really good for your brain. That's why people in the Mediterranean area don't have Alzheimer's. Um, let's throw in some lemon. Excuse me, sir. Uh, if you want to get more juice out of a lemon, you roll it around, squish it up a bit. Gives you more lemon juice. Uh, if you're wondering, this is how you would make a normal hummus as well. Uh, it's just hummus would be with chickpeas instead of white beans, so it's just tahini, garlic, lemon juice, red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper, and you blend it up, it's hummus. And throw like cumin in there, it's better than whatever you bought from the store. All right, so we'll blend this. Um, okay, Let's see if our hummus is good. You have to taste everything. If you don't taste everything as you go, it might turn out crappy, so it goes. amazing. Um, okay, so we'll set this white bean stuff aside. White bean hummus. Next up, let's grill some polenta. If you don't know what polenta is, it comes in two forms. I can get it in a box and it's like cornmeal. It's like fancy cornmeal. Or you can get it pre-made in this tube um, that's already been, you know, processed, I guess. But it's just corn. Uh, it's just polenta. So the Kroger's that I go to, the grocery store that I go to, only had it in this form, so this is the form I bought it from. Sorry, I always drink when I'm cooking. So we're gonna preheat our grill pan. This is my grill pan here. Uh, it has little ridges in it, and it has got this like nice little top to make it, uh, it's like a panini press, but just a nice grill pan. Oh, you know, let's check on our eggplant and our squash looks good. So these are probably like a half an inch. Yeah, you get that. Get that shot. Okay. Um, make sure your pan is well oiled. Polenta has a tendency to get stuck to the grill pan, so you want to make sure there's a ton of oil so that doesn't happen. A lot of oil. It's okay. Another drink for the chef. All right, I think we're hot. Uh, so let's get some nice little grill marks on our polenta. Beautiful. Let's put this lid on there, and that's good to go. Let's make the uh, the balsamic glaze. So balsamic glaze sounds super fancy, but it has one ingredient and it's actually not that hard. So balsamic glaze is you just take balsamic vinegar, you put it in the saucepan and you let it reduce down until it becomes a much like uh, thicker substance. It's not hard at all. Everyone can do it. And it's really good. Don't stick your face in here though when you're making this because it's really pungent. So it's just me and my husband eating this. I would say I'd put in like, I don't know, what is that? Like a half a cup? A half a cup. A little bit more. Boop. Half a cup. So I'll leave that open, put it on like medium high to high, let it sit there, don't put anything else in it. And after, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. I'd say three fourths of a cup, but that gets kind of expensive. Balsamic vinegar is kind of, it's the most expensive of the vinegars. 
Uh, but let that hang out, it'll reduce sound. So my polenta has already started making some noises. We'll let that chill. My eggplant and squash and onions are hanging out. Uh, so now we just wait for a little bit until, oh, get a shot of those beauties. golden color. Ooh, okay. Our eggplant and squash are done in the oven. We're going to pull them out. Cooking is so hot. Balsamic is thickening up. It's going to be a syrup soon. You really got to watch it. You don't want it to boil up too much. Um, once it starts to boil, cut it down so it's like simmering. If it's boiling up too much, it'll just burn. Uh, balsamic is about done. See how it's thickened up? It's like caramel a little bit. It's done. It's done. It's plating time. Let's put. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay, we're gonna plate our uh, our dinner. So we've got a bed of arugula, and then we're going to put uh, some of the eggplant down. Bam. Big old thing of eggplant, some squash, and some onions. So these are just roasted in the oven. Super easy with olive oil. If you haven't roasted some onions in the the uh, roasted onions in the oven, that's like a tongue twister. You should. It's amazing. That's that. Just put a fresh tomato down. Act like I don't use my hands when I'm cooking. And let's put some white bean hummus. Oh, we forgot the polenta. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You understand polenta tastes so good? Some polenta. Put some white bean hummus on top of that. Put some of our balsamic glaze over top of it. Ah, uh, that's gorgeous. Let's put some basil in there. Do you know if you tear basil, it uh, tastes better because it doesn't bruise the, the herb? Some, there, there you go. Gorgeous. Do I get to taste this one too? So good. Mm hmm. The balsamic glaze is amazing. Just to say so myself. But this is vegan. You can get everything at your local grocery store. Uh, nothing that's unapproachable. And this was Lisa Beats Your Meat. Watch our or listen to our podcast. We'll talk about all things vegan. Um, I will come up with way more recipes. This is one of them. You'll find it at lisabeatsyourmeat.com. Um, or you can see it on Instagram. And that's it. So thanks for watching the first episode of Lisa Beats Your Meat. Uh,